Hello, I'm Kristen, and welcome to STEM with the Houston Public Library. Have you ever heard of a Rube Goldberg machine? Rube Goldberg was an engineer and cartoonist famous for his drawings of contraptions made up of extremely complicated chain reactions that, in the end, performed very simple tasks. Although Rube Goldberg never built any of these machines, he did inspire engineers. There's even a Rube Goldberg machine contest for students of all ages. So how does a Rube Goldberg machine work? Let's start with some definitions. Energy is the ability or power to do work or cause change. A chain reaction is a series of events in which one action causes the next one and so on. A force is a push or pull on an object. Work in physics is when a force acts on an object to move it some distance. A simple machine is a tool that uses one movement to complete work. An inclined plane is a flat surface with one end higher, which allows us to raise or lower things gradually. And a lever is a simple machine made of a rigid bar that pivots on a support, called a fulcrum. So a Rube Goldberg machine is made up of a series of chain reactions which allows energy to be transferred through the contraption and cause each reaction. Simple machines like an inclined plane and a lever can help you direct energy to cause the reactions. So how would you create your own Rube Goldberg machine? Well, you're going to use the engineering design process, which is circular, meaning that you keep going around and repeating the steps as needed. So the first step is to identify, think of a problem or challenge, and then brainstorming, which is coming up with possible solutions and ideas for supplies. The next step is drawing a plan. So you're sketching out your plan to get a better idea of all the different parts of it. Then you're going to build and construct according to your plan. Next is testing it, trying it out and then is evaluating it. How well did it work? Did it work how you wanted to? And then the next possible step is redesign. So do you need to redesign it? Do you have new ideas? And then you can go through the process again, identifying and brainstorming to redesign it. Now we're going to talk about how to work backwards, figuring out how to set up each chain reaction and direct energy through them using our example here. In this example, I've already gone through the engineering design process a few times to figure out what materials to use and what they need to do. So be prepared to repeat the process. So our problem or challenge here is getting the T-Rex to eat the goat because T-Rex wants a goaty snack. So we need the T-Rex to tip over onto the goat. To do that, we're going to use a simple machine, the lever. And then we're going to need something to activate our lever. And that is going to be these books falling down. And then we need something to knock over the books. So this is the hardest part because the books are heavy, so they require quite a bit of energy to knock them over. So after a lot of different designs for this part and a lot of testing, I used another simple machine, an inclined plane which is our ramp here. This book is acting as our ramp. And the tennis ball is going to roll down it. The inclined plane allows the ball's energy to change from potential energy, which is stored energy, to kinetic energy, which is moving energy. So it will accelerate down the ramp and transfer that kinetic energy to the books, which fall over, transfer the energy to the lever, which transfers the dinosaur tipping over, and landing it on the goat. Let's try it. Ta-da! Now it's time to design your own Rube Goldberg machine. Remember the engineering design process and remember to work backward, starting with the problem you want to solve or task you want to perform, like, getting a dinosaur to eat a goat, or maybe moving something, opening a door, and then work backward, planning out each reaction that will transfer energy to that task. Also, be prepared to do a lot of redesigning, building, and testing. It takes a while to get your design right, and you'll have to build it and test it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, but it's all part of the process.
Be sure to share with us your designs. And thanks for joining us for STEM. Be sure to check us out on social media, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.